Good day, grade 10s. Welcome to the next lesson in Euclidean Geometry. Today we're going to be looking at the rhombus. Now the rhombus is a parallelogram, but it has four equal sides. So it's just a special form of the parallelogram. Therefore, all the properties that stand for parallelogram also stand for rhombus, but then it has some extra properties as well. So let's look at those. First of all, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. That we knew. We're very happy with that. Both our pairs of opposite sides are equal in length. That was always true with the, whether it was a parallelogram or a rhombus. Both pairs of opposite angles are equal. True. Both diagonals bisect each other, but this is different. They now bisect each other perpendicularly. So they bisect each other perpendicularly. So let me just, so over here, perpendicularly. And now the diagonals bisect the angles at their ends. The diagonals bisect the angles at their ends. So that's new. Diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly. So that angle there is 90 degrees. And they now bisect the angles at their ends. So let's look at some of these proofs. We're now going to look at a proof that the rhombus diagonals bisect perpendicularly. We're told that quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a rhombus. And what they want us to prove is that their diagonals are perpendicular, that A, C is perpendicular to B, D. Now let's think about everything we know about a rhombus. First of all, a rhombus is a special case of a parallelogram. In a parallelogram, the sides, opposite sides are parallel, so that side is parallel to that side. These two sides are parallel. And in a rhombus, not only are the opposite sides parallel, it's a parallelogram, but also all of the sides have equal length. So this side is equal to this side, which is equal to that side, which is equal to that side right over there. Now there's other interesting things we know about the diagonals of a parallelogram, which we know all rhombi are parallelograms. The, the other way around is not necessarily true. We know that for any parallelogram, and a rhombus is a parallelogram, that the diagonals bisect each other. So for example, let me label this point in the center, let me label it point E. We know that AE, we know that AE is going to be equal to EC. I'll put two slashes right over there. And we also know that EB, we also know that EB is going to be equal to ED. So this is all of what we know when someone just says that ABCD is a rhombus based on other things that we've proven to ourselves. Now we need to prove that AC is perpendicular to BD. So an interesting way to prove it, and you can kind of look at it just by eyeballing, is if we can show that this triangle is, is congruent to this triangle, and that these two angles right over here correspond to each other, then they have to be the same, and they'll be supplementary, and then they'll be 90 degrees. So let's just prove it to ourselves. So the first thing we see is we have a side, a side, and a side. A side, a side, and a side. So we can see the triangle, let me write it here, triangle, let me just in a new color. We see that triangle, triangle A, B, E, triangle A, B, E, is congruent to triangle C, B, E. C, B, E, and we know that by side, side, side congruency. We have a side, a side, a side, a side, a side, and a side. And then once we know that, we know that all the corresponding angles are congruent. And in particular, we know that AEB, we know that angle AEB, angle AEB is going to be congruent to angle, so AEB to CEB, CEB to angle CEB, because they are corresponding angles of congruent corresponding angles of congruent triangles. So this angle right over here is going to be equal to that angle over there. And we also know that they are supplementary. And so if they're both supplementary, so we also know, also, and let me write it this way, they're congruent and they are supplementary. Supplementary. So we have these two are going to have the same measure, and they need to add up to 180 degrees. So if I have two things that are the same thing, they add up to 180 degrees, what does that tell me? So that tells me that angle, the measure of angle AEB is equal to the measure of angle CEB, which is equal to, which must be equal to 90 degrees. They're the same measure, and they are supplementary. 
So this is a right angle, and then this is a right angle. And obviously, if this is a right angle, this angle down here is a vertical angle, that's going to be a right angle. If this is a right angle, this over here is going to be a vertical angle. And you see the diagonals intersect at a 90 degree angle. So we've just proved, so this is interesting. In parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. For a rhombus, where all the sides are equal, we've shown that not only do they bisect each other, but they're perpendicular bisectors of each other. Right, so now that we've proved that the rhombus diagonals bisect each other, let's use his proof to prove that the diagonals bisect the angles at the ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose a color. There we go. So he just proved that this triangle over here is congruent to this triangle over here. But if that's the case, then this angle here, angle, what would be ABE, ABE is equal to angle um, CBE, angle CBE, okay, CBE. Why? Because this triangle is congruent to this triangle. If this angle matches that angle, and if that angle matches that angle, that angle has to equal to that angle. And what does that mean? That means that this diagonal is bisecting these two angles. Therefore, we can say, therefore, the diagonal is bisecting this angle here. Yeah. So therefore, we can say the diagonal is bisecting angle ABC. But now, what about the other one? What about the other side? Um, so if you look over here, you can see that this is parallel and that makes your n or your z so therefore this is alternate so this angle here is also equal to that angle and again if you look over here you've got parallel lines and therefore this is also being bisected so therefore we can say that okay it's pretty obvious the diagonal bisects also it also bisects angle adc angle a, D, C. So therefore we know the diagonals bisect, this diagonal bisects its angle at its ends. Now, in order to prove that this is being bisected, all we'd have to do is prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. Because if that's the case, then this angle equals that angle, which means in turn that this angle equals that angle because of the way that we've done this. So let's look at triangle A, B, E and triangle D, A, E. And we're going to do it exactly the same way that this gentleman did this. You can see that this side is equal to this side. That side is common and that side is equal to that side. Therefore, we can say that triangle, let's say ABE, ABE is congruent to triangle ADE, ADE. A, D, E, and the reason again would be side, side, side. Therefore, we know that angle D, A, E, angle D, A, E has to equal angle B, A, E, has to equal angle B, A, E, because we've just proven it, okay? And then again, if we look at, at our parallel lines, we know that this is equal to this, and that is equal to that, because they're alternate. And oh my word, we've just proven the diagonals bisect each other. How do we write that? We would say, well, angle DAE, angle DAE equals angle DCA, D C A Y alternate angles oopsie alternate angles right and then similarly angle um, B A C B A C is equal to angle did I just get the wrong one? I did. That's not D C A, that's B C A. Whoopsie, let me just fix that for you. Um, I need an eraser. I'll show you what I did now. Okay, that there's supposed to be a B. Sorry. Um, go back to this color. So that's BCA, and now we've got DCA. So it's angle 
TCA, which is again alternate angles, and therefore we've just proven that the diagonals bisect the angles at their ends. Right, so now we've seen two proofs for the rhombus. We've seen the diagonals um, bisect each other at 90 degrees, so this here is 90 degrees, and we've proven that the diagonals bisect the angles at the ends. Grade tens, that is it when it comes to rhombus. Again, you need to know all the properties and you need to know how to prove this. And you'll notice that with all the proofs, what are we using? We're using congruency. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank <music> you.